when I was a very little girl, I was with my mother in Boston. We lived near Boston. And we were upstairs in a department store. And I knew it was remembered that it was springtime, but because we had gone to buy some flowers for my hat. And we didn't get on with it because suddenly all the bells in downtown Boston churches began to ring. There are several right there in the middle of Boston. And the boats in the harbor began blowing their whistles. And because ribbon in those days came on a roll with paper between the layers of ribbon, and as the girls sold the ribbon, they would throw the paper, those strips of paper in the wastebasket. And the girls began digging the wastebasket and tearing this paper up in little bits and throwing it out the window. And nobody was getting on with what we had come for. <laughs> well, I forgot about this for many years. I didn't live with my mother after I was 14 because I, there was no high school in our village where I went to grade school. And I had to go away to school. And I went to a 10 grade school and lived with other people. And then I went away to boarding academy and then I went to college. And so I never lived with my mother again. But a few years before she died, I remembered when I was visiting her, because I always visit one, once a year, and I said, Mother, there's something I remember, but I don't know what it was. And I began telling her about all the bells ringing and the boats in the harbor and the paper going out the window. She said, I don't believe you remember that. And I said, well, it's clear that I do, and gave her a few more details. She said, you weren't four years old yet. You, you were still only three, but I remember that. And so she told me, well, what was it? And she said, the news had just come that Charles Lindbergh had landed safely in Paris. That would have been the end of May, 1927. And so, well, you can imagine a little child was intrigued by all this <laughs> excitement going on, but I didn't know. They probably said what it was, but that didn't mean anything to me at that time. 